Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so tonight's video is about this motor and the circuit. Um, we'll start off with the motor here. Uh, two coils. Um, they have dual windings, so the red and black, the primary, the yellow and white, the secondary. The secondary is a little bit smaller gauge. It's 18 and 20. Um, the magnets here, there's six magnets. Uh, three north, three south. And then the back here we're having we have optical timing like my usual thing here the three cutouts as it can go around so the circuit's a little bit different than than my normal I have the the typical MOSFET that I usually use um, I'm only only using one of these um, you can see these parts are missing um, I've just been using it for different experiments so this has a full bridge rectifier for the output coming in right here these two leads um, the one disconnected for now um, and then it has a primary circuit output you can see the diodes facing this way so this comes down the yellow into the capacitor um, for the light and then the negative lead is just hooked up to the positive that's the the typical bendy series output on that um, I've got an amp meter back here this amp meter actually is going to show us um, as the as the output comes into the rectifier, it rectifies and then it charges up these capacitors and then on the back of it I have a little port that we could measure it so as these fill up they're actually going to start flowing this way back into the system and then we can measure how much energy is coming back in the system after it's been condensed through the capacitors. So we have two different output points, um, the light bulb and then just rerouting it back into the system to get a lower amperage draw. So, um, and then we just have the propeller here as a load for demonstrations. So, let's fire this thing up. So right now, um, the secondary leads aren't hooked up. So, the output's going to be diverted into this capacitor to the light. So, let's here. So it's just 12 volts, as usual. Um, have this amp meter because it's a smaller load it's easier to read it like this so kick this over here so just with a quarter amp we got 39 40 40 volts running this light bulb here and so what we're going to do for the first test is I'm going to bring this up to one amp here So one amp, and um, see what the RPM of this is also. So 492 at the moment. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the output from the secondary windings and I'm going to put it back into the system and you'll be able to see the light's going to start dimming down because we're using the output of the secondary winds then the amp meter will show this amp meter will show the drop and then this will show how much is actually going back into the system. So we hook it up here and you can hear the tone of the motor a little bit different. So right off the bat that's you know right around 20 22 percent reduction. You can see the, the little amp meter showing 200 milliamps. So that's just a little bit over battery volts just enough to make it flow back into the system. And the motor, I don't know if you could hear it, but it has a little bit different tone. And then there's still a little bit of output going here, but the voltage is quite a bit dropped because we're taking pretty much all of it back through the capacitors and back into the system. So this actually goes right back to the front of the motor and then it gets used again. So same speed. I think this one, let's see what it was. It's just a little bit faster at this amperage. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to disconnect this. You hear the motor a little bit different. So it's like 525. So it increased a little bit. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring it up to 2 amps. That's about as close as we're going to get. So 
Um, now it's all being diverted right here, so 71 volts. Uh, this is a 6 watt LED. So not full brightness, but, but pretty good. And um, we're going to check the RPMs of the motor here. So 756. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this back up. And you're going to hear the tone difference. The motor's going to speed up. Okay. So now we're using a little bit more juice. The motor gained a lot more power and it's still outputting almost 200 milliamps. So 800 versus it was before. So kind of an interesting experiment. Depending on what you do, you could get more or less. So we'll turn up some more. So at full power here, 3.3 amps, 900 RPMs, and then let's disconnect this. It's about the same because there's not much pulsing going on. But um, if you tone this down just a little bit, you can see right away, you start getting juice back. Because the, the pulse width modulator chops it up even more than its natural pulsing of it. So you can get the output. So, and disconnect this. A little bit confusing because of how it goes. Sometimes it gives it more power, sometimes it uses less power, but if we um, turn this down to one amp, it really makes a difference. So if we hook this back in, now we get that reduction again. So it's kind of an interesting thing. You know, sometimes you get more power out of the motor and it's giving power back to the system and use a little bit more and then the lower RPMs um, it's actually reducing the amp draw so can be kind of confusing but very interesting experiment so tell me what you guys think don't forget to subscribe.